Zero Zero Robotics recently announced the new X1 Pro and X1 Pro Max. I decided to take out my Hover X1 Air from my favorite clips and imagine them sped up two times or even more. This amazing self-flying camera has allowed a lot of hobbyists and enthusiasts the ability to take this for fitness, travel, etc. Imagine the newer models, the X1 Pro, for example, that now has 4K 60 frames per second or 1080 HD slow motion 120 frames per second. Half inch CMOS sensor with, get this, a 17 millimeter wide angle lens on the Pro. That's an improvement from the 35 millimeter on the Air X1. Auto follow speeds of 42 kilometers per hour, instantaneous tracking speed of 60 kilometers per hour, and the big one is the omni-terrain features of going over water, snow, cliffs, etc. That would be huge because you couldn't really go over water as it was. Flight time of 16 minutes. I really only got 8 to 9, even though it was rated 10, so that's certainly still an advantage. And the fact that it's only 192 grams with rear side active collision detection. Any kind of collision detection is a bonus because the last one didn't have it. Maximum altitude of 5,500 meters is such an improvement. With the Air X1 right now, it's rated at 15 meters, but that's just for bird's eye. I find for manual, it gets just about 30 feet or 5 meters. The wind resistant level of 5 is also a tremendous improvement. Now, if that wasn't enough for the X1 Pro Max, they're quoting it to be an 8K camera. 30 frames per second. You're still getting 4K at the 120 slow-mo though, which is another improvement over the Pro where you can only get the HD. 4K 60 frames per second with a video HDR. You can't get HDR apparently in the Pro, so you get an instant color bump on the Pro Max as well. 10-bit HLG format is certainly great for post-processing. Some pros will like that. The lens, you're going to get a one and a third CMOS sensor, which is a little bit bigger than the Pro, having a lens at 16 is a huge advantage. The RX1 was a 35 millimeter lens. The vision-based active collision detection is not only a tremendous advantage, and more like the DJI drones of the world to give you some collision protection, but it looks like it's also going to be an advantage over the Pro, which is going to be rear side only. This again looks like it's going to be vision-based active. Let's see if that's front and back. Wi-Fi 6 up to 1.2 gigabytes download speed certainly improve your transfers from the app. The thing to watch here is that DJI Neo was announced. A lot of speculation on the specs and even the price at only $329. Match that with the DJI Mini K that's already available even though it's only through Amazon and Best Buy through now the DJI website and that starts at $299. So these great features with a newer manufacturer like Zero, Zero Robotics is definitely fun to watch for enthusiasts. However, let's see what the pricing is. Thanks for watching.